Yes. Good morning, students. Today we are in uh, class five. We are going to learn about large numbers. So, firstly, what are the numbers? What are numbers? Numbers are mathematical symbols or mathematical objects which is used to measure, which is used to measure, count, etc. Okay, so we know that the numbers are like one, two, three, and up to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. These are the digits. Using these digits, we can create any number, any digit number. One digit, two digit, three digit. So earlier in class four, you have already learned about up to five digit numbers. Five digit numbers means up to lakhs. You have learned about up to lakhs. So the period, the Places you have already learned that is ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousands place, ten thousand place, and lakhs place. So this you have already learned. So among these, this is the six digit number. Now we are going to learn about more larger numbers that is. Ten lakh and crore. That is total eight digits. So as you know that the first three digits, first three places, this contains a period. That is once period. That is once period. This is thousands period. Thousands period. This is lakhs period. Fine. And this is cross period. We can there is also another place that is ten crore. So these two contains the crore period. So, so if we write a number, suppose we are taking any number like uh, any digit we can take like two five seven nine three five four zero from one two three four five six seven eight. Okay. Total eight digit number. This is an eight digit number. So, if we want to write this number, how can we read the numbers? How can we see the number? So, first we have to divide the number using the periods. So, first, first three digits. Um, actually, we are counting from the right side to the left side. Any number we count from the right side to the left side. So, first three digits this is the ones period. Then subsequent periods are containing two digits. Two digit. Two digit. Two digit. So next two digit again two digits. So remaining here is one digit. So now we can easily say this is this is crore period. So that is two crore. This is lakhs period. So fifty seven lakhs. This is the thousands period. So ninety three thousand. And the remaining is five hundred forty. So we say the number like this way: two crore fifty seven lakh ninety three thousand five hundred. Forty. The numbers can be written in two ways. Firstly, this one I am writing using commas. You can see I have written the number using the comma here, here, and here. If more digits are there, there is another way of writing. We will discuss about it later. The numbers can be written using spaces also. So write two, then a space, then fifty-seven. Another space, ninety-three. Another space, five hundred forty. So the space actually denoting the actually these spaces are for the periods. So this is the ones period. This is the thousands period, lakhs period, and the crores period. The numbers are same here. Two crore fifty-seven lakh ninety-three thousand five hundred forty. Okay. So. So this way we can write a number using commas or using spaces. Right here, using spaces. Next, we are heading towards the expanded form. You already know about the expanded form. You have already learned it in class four. Procedure is same here. So. Expanded form. If we want to write a number in expanded form, let's take another number, a digit number, five seven three forty nine two zero five. So it's an uh, a digit number. You may say you easily say that it is. This number is written using spaces. So 
So here is one space, another space, another space. So it is 5 crore 72 lakh 49,205. So how can we write the number in the expanded form? Expanded form means you have to write the number using the place values. So this is the place value, this is 1's place, this is 10's place, this is 100 place, this is 1000's place, this is 10,000's place, this is lakh, this is 10 lakh and this is crore. Fine. So 5 multiplied by 1 crore. So in 1 crore how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros and this is this place then we write 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 7 multiplied by this is 10 lakh place. So we have to write here 10 lakh. 1, 0, 10 for lakh 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 3 multiplied by this is lakhs period. This is lakhs period and the place is lakhs place. So 1 lakh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus, this is 10,000 period, so place, so 4 into 10,000 plus 9 into 1,000 plus, this is 100 place, so 2 into 100 plus 0, this is 10 place, so 0 into 10 plus, this is 1 place, so 5 into 1. You can avoid this step as it is multiplied by 0 we know that multiplied by 0 the result is 0 so you can avoid this place or and you can avoid this multiply by 1 because we know if we multiply a number by 1 the number will become same so this is the way of writing a number in, a, in an expanded form you can avoid the multiplication step you can write directly here like 5 into 1 so you can write directly 5 pro fine plus you can write here 7 into 10 lakh that is 70 lakh three into one lakh that is three lakh four into ten thousand that is forty thousand nine into one thousand that is nine thousand. 2 into 100 that is 200 and plus that is 5. Okay. So you can avoid this step. You can directly go to this step. If you are comfortable uh, by going this step directly, you can do it directly. Otherwise, you can do this step also. Okay. So this is the way of writing an expanded form. So you can directly write this expanded form by seeing the place value, like it is the crore's place. So, 5 crore. In crore, how many zeros are there? Count it easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. Here it is 7, 10 lakhs place. So, 7 and then the remaining zeros. 7 and how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Here similarly, 3, then the remaining 5 zeros, so 3, the remaining 5 zeros, 4, 4 zeros, 4, 4 zeros, 9, 3 zeros, 9, 3 zeros, 2, then 2 zeros, 2, 2 zeros, for the 0 we are not writing any number here, and the last one is 5. So this way you can write the expanded form. So similarly you can write the word form also. So the word form is very easy. I have repeated many times that is 5 crore. Earlier I have repeated also. So let's I'm writing it here for you. So 5 crore 73 73 this is lakh 49,000 205 
okay so this is the word form this way you can write easily using the periods this is the cross period 5 crore this is the lakhs period so 73 lakhs 49 this is the thousands period 49 thousand and this is the remaining 205 that is 205 okay next if this one first in the first question suppose this is, is given and your answer is this so you have to write the answer like this way this is the number is given and you are writing in word if the opposite is given if suppose this is the question suppose this is your question the question is given and you have to write in numerals so how can you write in, in numerals so write in numerals again the same procedure see the periods written here so 5 pro so 5 right here and the remaining will be pro okay 73 lakh 73 lakh so we are writing 73 leaving one space the spaces or leave one space or give a comma whatever you like you may give this is very very, very vital because this otherwise you may make mistakes so 73 lakh again one space or a comma 49 thousand 49 in the thousands period remember all the periods are containing two digits only only the once period only the once period have three digits all the remaining period have only two digits so never put a zero after a number i'm showing another example so 49 thousand then another space or comma then 205 that is 205 okay this one was easy let's take another example like 5 crore 73 lakh there is only 3 lakh suppose there is no 73 only 3 lakh then the what will be the number 5 crore 49000 here also no 40 only 9000 okay how can we write it so 5 crore 3 lakh 9205 so 5 crore for the crore we are writing only because we can put a zero before it but not after it next 3 lakh remember each and every period contains only two digits so 3 lakh we are writing the 3 here so but we have to make it two digits so put a zero in front of it never put a zero after it because if we put a zero in front of it it is 3 but if we put a zero after it then it is it becomes 30 okay then thousand for the thousand nine thousand so again write nine and for the thousand to make it two digit put a zero in front of it okay and the remaining is 205 so again put a comma 205 clear okay let's make it more hard five crore there is no lag suppose there is no lag five crore nine thousand there is no 200 okay i'm writing it again so it is 5 crore suppose 45 so how to write this number in numerator so 5 crore for the 5 crore we are writing 5 for the lag for the lag there is no lag period mentioned here so remember that each and every period has two digit only so for that we will write two zeros so that the value doesn't change next thousand is there any thousand no there is no thousand for the thousand period again two zeros comma 45 so if we write 45 here is it correct no it is not correct because last period contains three digits so to make it three digit how to do it we put a zero here no, if we put a 0 here, it becomes 450, but the number is given 45, so we have to keep it 45. How can we keep it 45? Put a 0 in front of it, not after it. Now the number remains 45, so it is 5 crore 45. Clear? Okay. Now, another example, suppose, a number is given suppose a number is given a 
this is the number so in this number suppose a number is highlighted and you have to say the place value of the number okay so suppose this number is highlighted and you have to say the place value of this number so what will be the place value so there are there is an easy way to put commas very easily first three then two then two now we can easily determine which are the period this is one period this is the thousands period this is lakhs period and this is the crore period so this is in the lakhs period the number we want that is in the lakhs period where in lakhs place or 10 lakhs place you know that this is in lakhs place so the place value will be Nine into one lakh, or you may directly write nine. Yes, you may directly write nine lakh. Fine. Or if you have facing any problem using this comma or the space, you can create you can create a place value chart and place the numbers there. It will be very easier then. Like, firstly, you make a place value chart. Like this way, that is one place, tens place, hundreds place, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore. So, this is a period, this is another period, this is another period, this is another period. Now put the numbers whatever is given. Suppose I am taking an example from the book. Uh, I am doing a math from um, quick assessment page number 15. Quick assessment page number 15. Question number 2A. Question number 2A. The number is given. Two, three, four, eight, zero, 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 seven. Divided using spaces here, here, and here. We can easily identify the number. So the number you can see the last three digit. So here will be zero, zero, seven. Then these two digit zero, zero. Then eight, four, eight, four. Then two, three, and three, two. Now we can easily write the number using any form. Like if it is asked to write in expanded form, we can write easily. If it is asked to write in words, we can write easily. If it is asked to find a place value of any highlighted digit, we can write this that also. Like if the number, if the number is asked to write in words, what will be the number? Very easy to say: twenty-three crore forty-eight lakh. Zero zero thousand, so no need to write zero zero. And zero zero seven. Here also no need to write zero zero. We can we easily can write seven. So it is twenty-three crore forty-eight lakh and seven. Five. Now, in the number, if you are asked to write the place value of 3, so the place value, very easy, you can say that the number in the close place, the number in the close place, so the place value is 3 crore, for crore how many zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, zero. Five. Always mention these. What are you writing? Place value or something else? Mention. Like if you are writing um, numeral for this word, then you have to write the numeral here. Numeral. Then write the number like twenty-three, forty-eight lakh zero 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 seven. This way. Understand? Now today's last topic. So we can easily say that if we have this table and you are asked to write the largest and the smallest 
suppose eight digit number seven digit number nine digit number whatever so how can you write it so suppose that you are asked to write the largest eight digit number so eight digit numbers three four five six seven eight means up to this much so largest means all will be nine 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 so this is the largest eight digit number if it is largest nine digit then you have the one nine if it is small you are asked to write the smallest then the first digit will be one and the subsequent digits will be zero got it but if you are asked that write a largest seven digit number using four different digits so the question is largest seven digit number using four different digits so here you have to see what is asked largest or smallest so largest seven digit number but we can use only four digits so we have to take the largest four digits what are the largest four digits the largest four digits are nine eight 7 and 6 ok so using this number we have to form a 7 digit number so we have 4 digits but we have to make a 7 digit number that means we have to repeat some digit which digit we have to repeat as it is largest number we have to repeat the largest digit ok so 4, four digits are already present we need more 3 digits so more 3 9 will be added here so 9 9 9 9 8 7 6 so separate by comma comma so this is our largest seven digit number using four different digits you can see there are four different digits one two three and all these digits are same so this is four different digits fine so similarly we can create the smallest number if you are asked to write the smallest number smallest seven digit number using four different digits so how can we write similarly we have to first identify the smallest four different digits that is what are the smallest four different digits that is zero one two and three so how can we do it to make it a seven digit number similarly we have to repeat any digit which digit we will repeat the smallest definitely the smallest digit so this digit we have to repeat so but we cannot write the zero at the front because if we write zero at the front there is no value of zero in front of the number so we have to first write the second smallest number one then how many zeros already four digits are present we need more three digits so more three zeros one two three now the remaining digits that is zero one is already used then two and three now you see separate by comma comma it is the large, smallest seven digit number using four different digits you can see four different digits this is one digit and this all digits are the same so one two three and four so four different digits are here okay so for today today's class is up to this much your homework will be complete Quick assessment of page number that is 15 and self practice to A. This is today's homework. That is Monday's homework. I will be checking or I will be correcting the homework on the next day, that is on 21st. On 21st, I will check. Thank you and have a nice day.